Hey guys, it is 2.38. We are about to head out on a river boat ride uh, in the swamps. We're going to take an airboat and we're going to go see a bunch of alligators. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and hopefully we'll have some questions um, through Instagram and stuff that I can answer to you guys as I'm traveling on the roads. So, let's get started. Well guys, uh, we made it. We are on the air boat ride thing at Marsh's Landing. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description you guys want to check this out yourselves. Um, so while we're waiting for our captain to get here, um, might as well answer the first question. Uh, question number one comes from the Squibbler. Um, what is the uh, backstory on the name the Daily Dobby? Well, that's actually an interesting question. No one's actually asked that question yet, and it's kind of a really good background story. Well, when Clay and I decided to make this channel, we wanted to make a name um, that really represents what we're going to do with this channel, and so far how it shows off our characters as uh, content creators ourselves. And, of course, we wanted it to be Harry Potter related, because, again, uh, channel. So we decided to pick out a uh, character that we both liked, and we both really liked Dobby. And we knew that this channel was going to be basically over um, tips and tricks and all new news on AR games from Niantic and all this stuff. So we decided to put the Daily in front of it, like a newspaper, and then we just smacked Dobby on it, and it made the TDD, which is the Daily Dobby, as you guys know it today. So that's that question over, and we're about to enter the boat. So. Talk to you guys when we're on the boat. See if this airboat content is making me think of one clip. To show you the incredible sealing power of Flex Seal Liquid, we made this entire airboat out of screen and covered it in Flex Seal Liquid. After a day on the water, flying through alligator infested swamps, Flex Seal's watertight barrier takes a beating, stays strong and flexible, and the inside is completely dry.
it is day two of whatever I'm going to call this. I think I'm going to end up calling it Vlogcation. So, yay! Vlogcation. That's going to be an epic little name for this little three episodes, uh, three part, three parts, um, uh, videos. There's going to be three videos out for you guys to watch and enjoy. Um, so what I'm basically going to do is I forgot to, um, close an intro, an outro out last night. So it is technically day two of Vlogcation, but it's, I'm going to close this off and then start on uh, Vlogcation 2. And yes, I will be answering your guys' questions that you guys have gladly left me on Instagram, Twitter, and all of our other social media outlines um, throughout the entire vacation. So to recap last night's experience, as you guys just saw in um, some past clips, we did go on the um, Spirit of the Advent, uh, Spirit of the Swamp, I believe is what it was called. I'm sorry if I got their name wrong. Um, the real name will be down here. Unless I got it right, so my luck. Um, but by far, I'm I can't even tell you about it because literally I'm speechless about it because it was so amazing. Um, it's so cool of an experience to ride on an airboat. Like most people wouldn't think about that; they'll just be like, "Oh, it's just an airboat in the swamp. It's it's not that um, not that big." But honestly, an airboat ride like. If you haven't done it yet, I would highly recommend it. So if you're anywhere near like this Florida area, and um, you're anywhere near a swamp, I would I would highly recommend an airboat tour because like these guys, highly trained professionals, um, they'll get you right up close to some animals. We got up close to I think um, I want to say four four alligators, four American alligators, um, all really calm and they're beautiful creatures um they're not hostile at all which is what a lot of people think they are but honestly they if they don't see you as a threat they will really won't attack you so it was pretty cool to be able to get up to those animals and it's just it's just a really cool experience uh i would have filmed more but um our riverboat captain um he he wanted us to have a good time, so he was uh, doing a lot of spin moves and all that stuff on the riverboat, so if I would have uh, tried to record, I probably would have dropped my camera in the swamp, and I didn't want to do that, so um, I was just there for a good time, so yeah, but uh, like I said in a previous, I will leave a link down in the description to uh, the place where we went, if you guys want to check them out, really cool place, they did a really good job, uh, they really care for the animals that they show you. And it's it's a really cool experience. I would highly recommend it to all you guys. So, yeah, I will leave them an, uh, a link down in the description if you guys want to check them out. And I'm guessing it's time for some questions. <laughs> so, like I said, I asked you guys uh, a couple hours before I started making this video if you guys would leave me some questions on Instagram, Twitter. And I think I even shouted out to the, our Discord server if you guys want to um, check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below to our discord so you guys can join us and have fun talks about uh wizards night so um going on to our first question um what's your inspiration for wizards night content creations um personally what inspired clay and i to uh do this right now and sit here in front of a camera and stare at nothingness you guys will be staring at me but i'm i'm, I'm staring at like a the camera and there's a door in the background so yeah it's it's kind of sad because i'm sitting in a room all by myself talking to myself but i know you guys are out there so um yeah but what inspired clay and i was probably our friends and family for always making us um push ourselves to do something we love to do and i got into youtube a couple months ago maybe a year ago i started getting into youtube for gaming uh it didn't kick off as much as this channel did, but I had fun doing it, and I always uh, loved creating new videos. And you got, I had some people that were around me that really liked seeing my videos and all that. Even though that was around the time the Fortnite gaming started coming out, so I had to jump on that train. When I did, it was funny because I wasn't, I'm not really that great at Fortnite, so um, it was kind of like a little laugh in the and everyone. Um, they laughed at me for. Um, 
trying my best. I I, I never never won a game. I, I have, but not on video. Um, but that that inspired me the most was probably the old channel, my friends and family, and what got us into the Wizard Unite was um, if you guys don't know, uh, Nick from Trainer Tips. He does a lot of the Pogo um, videos. Um, if you've ever heard, if you've ever even played Pogo, you probably heard of Nick. So um, basically, uh, he inspired us because he made a video a couple, maybe a year ago, maybe a couple months ago, that uh, told everybody that uh, Wizards Night was actually coming out. Niantic is planning on making a Harry Potter game, and Clay and I looked at each other and we we're just like, "This is actually a fandom that we love as Harry Potter," and we're like, "Let's jump on this train. Let's." Let's get an idea started. I want to do a YouTube channel because I had already been doing one. And I said, I asked Klaus, like, hey, we should do something together, seeing how um, we love uh, doing things together. And it's always a fun experience when we're together. So I was like, let's put a channel together and let's make it into something wonderful. So definitely big shout out to Nick for um, inspiring Clay and I both to um, continue on this YouTube path. So, yeah, that's probably what inspired us the most, and it's, it's just, I'm so glad we're here. So, um, I'm going to answer another question if I have the time. Um, wow. Thank you, Slitherwin. Uh, what's your favorite question you have been asked in this video? Um, probably that one that you just asked was, um, probably the inspiration. What was my inspiration to Wizards Unite? Um, I like it when people ask other things besides, is the beta coming out soon? Because I don't know some of them stuff. Um, but I can answer some stuff that I can get somewhat personal with you guys and actually get let you guys get a chance to meet me and know me a little bit more than the guy, in the, fa the guy on the screen and, you know, just giving you probably information that's probably sticking or not sticking. I don't know. Depends on what you... You think? Um, yeah, but that's probably what my favorite question was. It was the inspiration one. No offense to Squibber, who asked me um, what was the um, backstory on the name of the Daily Dobby. That was a good one, too. I like that one. Um, so I'll do this question, and then I'm going to uh, let you guys uh, leave and check out the next video after this, which would be Vlogcation 2, which I will film gladly after this one. So um, if you could attend... Any wizarding school, which would you choose and why? So, the wizarding schools to choose from would be, well, the only two I know of that would, because I know there's more than two, but I'm going to say Elvamore and Hogwarts. I'm going to have to choose between two of them because I don't completely know the other schools, I guess. Um, I would probably go, I'd probably go Hogwarts, honestly, because... For me, I like traveling. I, I love travel. I, if I get to see a place that is new to me and I've never seen it before, I would love to do And I've always had a dream. I've always wanted to go to the UK. I've always wanted to tour the UK because it's just, I th to me, I, it's a, it looks like a cool place to visit. Uh, Zealman, you can probably help me out here. It's probably, you probably think to your head, it's, it's nothing big. It's just, just a little you know place. But honestly, I have never been. I would love to uh, end up going to the UK sometime and touring around. Um... So, yeah, I'd probably go with Hogwarts. And it wasn't just because I wanted to tour the UK, but because there's a lot of history behind the Hogwarts castle. And it's just, like, there's so many important events that have happened in Hogwarts. Like, you have the Battle of Hogwarts. Like, they literally had a battle at Hogwarts against probably one of the darkest and evilest wizards that have ever roamed the wizarding world. So it's kind of cool to be able to, like, go there and actually just sit on the same ground that, like, Harry did when he defeated Voldemort and all that stuff. So I, I just think, by far, I'd go to Hogwarts just because of the history background. I Personally, I love history, so I would I would just love it so much. So, yeah, that's probably what uh, school I would probably go to. Um, and I think that's the last question I'm going to do for today. So, if you guys like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. And if you guys want to see more, um, hit that little bell icon down below so you can be uh, notified whenever time um, we post a video. And like I said... Uh, there will be another video after this, Vlogcation Part 2, um, so I'm not going to spoil what I'm going to do in this video because, personally, I don't even know what I'm going to be doing today because the day just started, so I guess we'll find out in the next video. So, I will see you guys in the next video, so...
Bye.